My name is Nandini Nair. I'm a professor of medicine at Texas Tech Health Sciences Center in Lubbock, Texas. I'm also the medical director for advanced heart failure and mechanical circulatory support at University Medical Center Hospital in Lubbock. I just presented at the International Academy of Cardiology Annual Scientific Sessions 2017 held in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, my talk was titled VADS in the Elderly, a Viable Option. And uh, we uh, looked at a meta-analysis or a systematic uh, review of using left ventricular assist devices in patients over 70 years of age. Uh, we uh, did a review of existing studies and, and divided them into two groups. Uh, one group had studies which address LVADs in the older population used as a bridge to transplantation. The other group had studies that were documenting destination therapy in these individuals and used in comparison with younger individuals. The systematic review showed the number of implants done in patients over 80 years of age is minimal, probably less than 1%. However, um, older individuals after age 65 are usually placed in the destination therapy group. Um, age is definitely a risk factor, but it is not the most powerful predictor of survival in this population. It appears that the renal function, if intact in these individuals, would definitely influence positive outcomes. Um, to that effect, uh, both bridge to transplant group and destination therapy group showed that individuals with fewer comorbidities did survive better as compared to younger individuals or had the same survival pattern as the younger individuals. Additionally, um, patients were compared with uh, alternate list transplant patients and it was noted that the bridge to transplant older patients actually did have a similar survival in the short term, but at three years, the patients who received alternate list heart transplants actually did better. Therefore, to conclude, um, our systematic review showed that risk stratification in this population is an important aspect. Age is not really a predominant predictor. However, the creatinine and renal function in these patients appears to be the most powerful predictor of survival post-LVAD implantation.